Good morning YouTube! As you can see, Jelly Bean is out. Um, if you saw the Google I.O. keynote uh, last Wednesday, you probably know that Google released um, Jelly Bean 4.1 Android for the Galaxy Nexus. But, unfortunately, for some reason, a lot of the Galaxy Nexuses, even though they're supposed to get updated right away, are not even running the latest versions of Android. Um, you might still be running 4.0.1 like this guy. And you would think with a Nexus that all you have to do to upgrade to the latest version is go into updates and press check now. So as you can see, this ha this is a device, it's a stock device with 4.0.1 Android and I'm checking right now on July 2nd and uh, we're still running 4.0.1. I'm not getting an over over the air to let alone jelly bean not even to 4.0.4 .4. so i'm gonna try to um, show you the easiest way to upgrade your galaxy nexus to android jelly bean 4.1 the steps we're going to go through today are number one we are going to install two sets of drivers on your computer adb drivers and fast boot drivers two unlock the bootloader and root the OS. Number three, we're going to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Number four, download a ROM and copy it to the phone, download the Jelly Bean ROM. And then number five, we're going to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and install the ROM. Now steps one, two, and three are 80% of the task today but we're going to do it in a simple way. So the easiest way I know how is using this fantastic piece of software written by a guy named Mark Skippen, that dude right there. Um, he was a genius, a gentleman, and a scholar. So he has uh, developed a Galaxy Nexus toolkit that lets you do all, go through all the steps you need to to install new ROMs on your phone. So I'm starting completely from scratch. I'm gonna start a stopwatch here, and let's see how things go. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is install this software um, on, um, so I'm using Windows, this, this is just for Windows. So I have a Windows 7 computer here. So let's go get the tool. Okay, so it's an 84 meg download. Okay, so our file has downloaded. I'm going to click on it and install. Okay, so let's press next. So I'm just doing the default install now. Okay, that was uh, pretty uh, pretty quick. Here's a PayPal link, so you can donate to Mark if uh, this application has helped you. I encourage you to do that. These guys work super hard on these things and put it out there for anyone to use. Okay, so I'm starting with, uh, as you can see, the build number there is ITL41F. So, we can see that's number two here for the GSM model, ITL41F, two, enter. Press one to install the drivers. Some notes here, you must be logged in with admin rights. Uh, make sure your phone is booted, do not connect your phone until after the drivers are installed. You also want to make sure you do not have any other um, Galaxy Nexus drivers installed or Samsung drivers I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to choose number two, Windows 7. Install drivers to your PC. One, enter. Okay, so operation has started. 
install this, so this driver software anyway. Okay, so I got a strange looking error message, but it says an error occurred returning to main menu, but right under that, it says if the error had to do with leader cache doesn't have MUI entry, which is exactly what we see up here, uh, we don't need to worry as the drivers have been installed. Good. So now we need to connect your phone via the USB cable and your PC should detect the phone and install the drivers. So that's what we're going to try. Okay. So here you can see your device is ready to use device driver software installed successfully. Good. Okay, driver installed, so I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to exit and just reboot for good measure. Restart. Okay, I've rebooted, I loaded up the application again. Okay, let's try number three now. Make sure your phone is in fast boot mode. So let's do that. Okay, phone shutting down. Okay, now we're going to go into fast boot mode. There we go. Fast boot mode, installing device driver software. So this is the second time we're seeing that. Awesome. Great, device driver software installed successfully. So I am going to continue, yes. Enter. So we're in fast boot mode. Our device shows up. Let's try number three. Unlock your boot loader again. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay, look on the phone. If you unlock the bootloader, you'll be able to install custom operating system software on this phone. Okay, so we want to go, we want to choose yes, unlock bootloader, may void warranty, awesome. And then we're going to use power to select yes. Okay. Completed. Returning to main menu. Let's go with number seven now, because I just noticed it would do three, four, five, and six. So we already did three. Let's see if we can do four, five, and six in one shot. So seven. Step on unlocking the bootloader. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Enter. Already unlocked. Step two, setting up root on your phone. You've chosen root. Rooting. Now the phone's booting into Android. Rebooting. Procedure will continue in 30 seconds. Okay, so this seems to be going well. We are rooting now. It's our timer at 34. Okay, we have booted up now. So because we unlocked the bootloader, it factory reset. So I'm just gonna go through the setup again. Let's go into developer options now. Check USB debugging. Okay, USB debugging connected. Okay, so now the phone should reboot on its own. Yep. 
Awesome. Yeah. We're back in fast boot mode. Now booting into Android using an insecure boot image. This is awesome. It's doing everything on its own. Wow, now it's putting in clockwork. All right, we are good to go. Now we can move on to flashing jelly bean. Awesome. How awesome is this toolkit? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is Go to 21 read phone options. Reboot phone to Android OS. Beautiful. Okay, so we are done using uh, the toolkit for now. So now we can open device to view files. Okay, so now I'm on XDA and I'm going to the thread that has uh, version 2 of the uh, Jelly Bean ROM. So what do we do here? We got to download some files. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so our ROM has downloaded, um, as you can see. Um, we could also download a radio, but we're not going to do that. So all I've downloaded is one file. Okay, so the ROM has been copied to the phone. So now I'm going to disconnect the phone. Now we are also going to download an app from... Google called ROM Manager. Let's open it. Reboot into recovery. Okay. There's our clockwork mod touch recovery. So first we're gonna do wipe data. Yes. Now we're going to do wipe cache. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip. Go into the download folder. So let's select that. Flash it. So now we're going to let it sit and flash. So it's installing now. There, install from SD card complete. So now we can go back. Reboot system now. And now we should be booting up for the first time into Jelly Bean. Look at that. Okay, we're in. Okay, so I'm signing in now. Your phone is set up, ready to use, and we now have Jelly Bean.
with the new notifications. Project Butter, the faster uh, res UI responsiveness. Android version 4.1 build JRN 84D. And we're all set. So now I have fresh jelly bean installed on my Galaxy Nexus. And to go from complete stock, that took me an hour and 11 minutes. Uh, which is kind of a long time, but I'm sure you guys uh, can do it much faster than that after watching the video. Let us know in the comments how long it takes you to do it. Thank you for watching.